Hello and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on Advanced Workflows. In this lesson, we will learn key terms and concepts related to advanced workflows. In this lesson, you will compare basic workflows and advanced workflows, learn when and why an advanced workflow is needed, and discover the basic steps to configure an advanced workflow. Before we begin, Let's review a basic workflow. Recall the basic terms of a workflow. A workflow state is a document milestone or phase, such as work in progress, review, or approved. A workflow is an ordered group of states through which a document passes on its way to completion. The basic document workflow is linear. In the example workflow, if a document is in the approved state, it must go through the review state before going back into the work in progress state. So what is an advanced workflow in ProjectWise and how is it different from a regular workflow? An advanced workflow is also known as a rules-based workflow and operates using the workflow rules engine. Workflow rules are used to define what should happen to a document in a particular workflow state when a specific operation is selected on the document change state menu in ProjectWise Explorer or ProjectWise 365 projects. The main difference between a basic workflow and an advanced workflow is that the advanced workflow uses the workflow rules engine and allows for non-linear workflows. A more comprehensive list is shown in this table. Normally, a workflow is assigned to a folder and users change the states of documents as needed by selecting the standard Next, Previous, and Change options on the Document Change State menu. When workflow rules are in place, the standard Next, Previous, and Change options are disabled and instead the user has new options or operations to select from on the document change state menu. The selected operation triggers a rule, which is a defined set of actions configured to run in a specific sequential order. Workflow rules are imported through the rules engine node in ProjectWise Administrator. Any ProjectWise user will be able to use the rules in ProjectWise Explorer or ProjectWise 365 projects, assuming they also have access to the workflows that are using the rules. Let's consider a real life example. When the structural engineer checked the church road geometry model, she found that the church road geometry does not clear ramp C due to a bent in her open bridge model. Back in ProjectWise Explorer, she enters a reject reason and saves the document attributes. She then rejects the document from the change state menu. A new version is created and given a new minor revision number. The whole process is made possible by the workflow rules engine. So why have an advanced project-wise workflow? In addition to having the right information for the right people, at the right time, advanced workflows offer other abilities. With an advanced workflow, revision and version numbers can be fully controlled to follow predefined patterns. Some examples are shown in the table. An advanced workflow also gives the ability to track when an action occurred and who did the action, such as draw, check, review, approve or publish, and push the information to the title block inside the file. The information can be added automatically during a series of actions triggered by a menu option such as approve or reject, without the possibility for a user to manually alter the data. Advanced workflows can dynamically control pick list values on different document lifecycle stages. Finally, advanced workflows provide the ability 
to shift and capture revision history attributes. More benefits of using advanced workflows include the ability to allow users to perform several built-in actions at one time on a given document. The ability to support nonlinear workflow cycles. And the ability to ensure that the right personas have access to the right information at the right time. Workflow rules can be configured to work with your existing workflows and states. Workflows must first be enabled for the rules engine before they can be used with it. The enabling of a workflow is done inside the workflow rules file before it is imported into ProjectWise Administrator. Congratulations! You have now reviewed the concepts of advanced workflows and of the workflow rules engine. We are now ready to learn how to gather requirements for an advanced workflow. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.